The Pot Still is an absolutely legendary distilling workhorse. And among all of the potential configurations for distillation equipment, it was probably the original. It's one of the most important and it's still probably the most widely used methods of distillation today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set one up. I'm gonna tell you why they're so important and how they're used. All right, in general, pot stills are used for lower proof distillation or distillation applications where you want a lot of flavor and aroma coming through from the original wash ingredients. Like if you're making a whiskey or other medium proof spirits with a lot of flavor. Pot stills are also used when distilling essential oils to transfer the oil and as much of the essence from the original plant material as possible into the hydrosol. By the way, I'm Kyle with Clawhammer Supply. I make small scale distillation and brewing equipment. I've been doing this for about 15 years and have literally made and sold thousands of distillers. So I feel pretty qualified to explain this. To set up a pot still, all we're going to need is a boiler, a couple of 90 degree elbows, and a condenser. And we'll attach everything using gaskets and tri-clamps. The first step is actually attaching the lid to the boiler after it's been filled with mash. The boiler lid contains a built-in gasket and is attached to the boiler using a butterfly clamp. After that's done, attach two 90 degree elbows to the top of the boiler using gaskets and tri clamps however don't tighten the tri clamps all the way just yet because you are likely going to want to adjust the angle of the elbows once they're secure attach one of our shotgun condensers we have two options to choose from an all stainless condenser which is popular with our essential oils customers and a copper condenser which is popular with our spirits customers these are highly efficient high output condensers that use groundwater to condense the vapor essentially the condenser is a cold water jacket that fits around the still output, allowing the vapor to condense back into liquid in the still output without the groundwater or distillate ever mixing. After the condenser is attached, install a condenser end cap, making sure to orient the vent facing up. You can run the distillate into a collection vessel right out of the end of the condenser end cap, or you can use some silicone hose to route it into a collection vessel. Another thing you could do is get one of our proofing parrots and run the distillate into that. Parrots allow you to measure proof real time using a distiller's hydrometer. If you were to set this up using one of our standard still configurations, you'd either buy our stainless copper column still or our all stainless column still. Both of those contain all of the parts I'm using here with the addition of a column. We include a column with our still because it allows you to get into doing stuff like natural reflux distillation, which is achieved by packing the column with copper mesh. And by the way, our still boiler includes an inch and a half ferrule, which is sized for either a 1650 watt or a 5000 watt heating element that can be powered and precisely controlled with either our 120 volt or our 240 volt controllers. The boiler also includes a half inch port that's compatible with an analog thermometer or a thermo well for the controller temperature probe. And the boiler lid includes two quarter inch ports. One of them is for a pressure relief safety valve which comes standard with all of our distillation equipment the other is for an optional pressure gauge and if you don't want to install something like that we also include blanks that come with the still we also carry stuff like sight glasses which are handy in pot still configurations to make sure the heat in the boiler isn't so vigorous that the wash itself as opposed to just the vapor uh, make its way into the condenser in other words it allows you to keep an eye on things we've even developed neoprene jackets for the boiler and all of the column and condenser parts to increase thermal efficiency. Okay, so now that we've assembled the pot still, let's talk about why they're used. First, in spirit distillation, pot distillers are indispensable. Pot stills are used two different ways here. One example would be where a distiller has fermented a really flavorful wash using high quality barley, corn, rye, or whatever, and they're making craft bourbon or whiskey, and they want a lot of flavor to come through from the grain into the final product. They might do some something like a single or double pot distillation and call it a day. That's because pot distilling is the very best way to concentrate alcohol while maintaining as much of the flavor and aroma as possible. Another way pot stills are used is to do what are called stripping runs. In a stripping run, a fermented wash is quickly run through a pot still to concentrate the alcohol only moderately before it's then run through a column still for a spirit run. For example, a stripping run might increase the alcohol volume of a 10% ABV wash to 
actually somewhere between 20 and 40 percent and after that the stripped wash will be run through a column still for a plate distiller to increase it to as much as 90 percent abv the second run through the column stiller the bubble plate distiller that's what's called a spirit run all right i want to touch on essential oils as well because we have a ton of essential oils clients but i'm going to be real with you i've only done a bit of essential oils distillation myself i'm not really an expert in that arena though like i said we have a lot of essential oils customers and i can say with certainty that the most common setup used by essential oil distillers by far is essentially a pot still configuration i have some friends who own a lavender farm out in colorado and i've made several trips out there to hang out with them and uh, make some lavender oil and hydrosol and in every case we have used essentially a pot still setup we did add a column to the top of the boiler containing the plant material but we left that column empty in that case we added a column essentially just to increase the overall height of the condenser output so we could put a separatory funnel underneath and run the distillate directly into the separatory funnel by the way we sell separatory funnels as well a lot of our essential oils customers purchase those with our essential oils distiller the separatory funnel is just a way to to separate the hydrosol that's produced by the still and the oil itself. During these trips to Colorado, I noticed a couple of very interesting things. Um, one of the most interesting to me was the fact that our higher powered still, so the uh, 5,000 watt element combined with our 240 volt controller increased the yield of the oil quite a bit due to, I believe, the amount of heat we were able to apply to the plant material over a, the, a shorter duration of time. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out our website, clawhammersupply.com, and I'll link to some more distillation videos on our YouTube in the description.